In this video, we're going to look at how to create a trading system in ProRealTime without programming and backtest it on past data. Here, we are looking at a chart of the DAX future. Here is an example equity curve and an example positions chart. Let's remove these for now and create our backtest. First, I'm going to zoom in on 200 units so we can see the chart more clearly. Here, the chart shows a short moving average in green and a long moving average in red. Let's create our conditions based on these moving averages. I'm going to click here to open the backtest and indicators window. I'm going to select the backtesting tab here and click new. We are by default in the simplified creation mode, which will let us create our conditions simply by clicking on the chart. You can also do creation by programming. Let's enter a name for our system here. For the long positions, click here to define the buy condition. Click on the specific section of the chart window to set your condition on price or an indicator displayed in that section. For our first condition, we're going to choose moving average 20, crosses over, moving average 50, and push OK. You can also click add condition here to add a second condition, duplicate condition, delete this condition, or delete all conditions. For the sell condition, we click on the chart again, and we're going to set moving average 20, crosses under, moving average 50, and then click OK. For the short positions, we're going to enter short when the moving average 20 crosses under the moving average 50, Click OK. And to exit po short positions, moving average 20 crosses over, moving average 50. In the Money Risk Management section, we can set stops and targets. Click here to activate a target order. For example, 20 pips or 20 points in the case of futures. We can also activate a trailing stop order. We can set it at 10 points or pips. You can also activate a normal stop order here, but we're just going to use a trailing stop for this system. You can also define a risk reward ratio. For example, if I enter a ratio of 3, it will change my target to 30 points. You can change the risk reward ratio and it will automatically adjust the target level. Click OK when you're finished. In the next section, we can configure trading hours when the system can place orders, have open positions, and days of the week that the system can trade. For example, if we want the system to always be flat before 10 a.m., and always be flat after 5.15 p.m., we can check these two boxes. You can adjust the time in this way. We could also decide, for example, that we don't want the system to place any new orders to enter the market or increase position size after 4.30 p.m. You can also adjust this time here. In the next section, we can set days of the week the system should place new entry orders. For example, if you don't want new entry orders on Saturday or Sunday for your system, for markets that are open on weekends, for example, you could uncheck those boxes. Click on OK when you're finished. If we go over to the Creation by Programming tab, we can see that all the conditions that we have defined in the Simplified Creation section have actually been written into code directly by the program. The code is commented, for example, definition of parameters, cancel all pending orders, and close all positions after the flat after time. 
and color coded to make it easy to read. The conditions to enter long positions are shown here and you can see the periods of the moving averages which could easily be adjusted. If you want to unlock the code, you have to click this button. However, if you unlock the code to modify it manually, you will be unable to modify the conditions in the simplified creation mode. It's possible to modify your conditions in simplified creation mode even after we've created them. For example, long positions by, I can click here, delete my condition, and then add a new one. Moving average 20 crosses over moving average 50. I've just set the same condition, but you could set something else if you wanted, for example. On the right hand side, there are a number of parameters for the back test that can be set. For example, initial capital, lot size for the Forex market, brokerage fees, you can set them in euros per order, percent of transaction, or euros per contract. The type of fee displayed here depends on the type of instrument. Since this instrument is quoted in euros, the fees are displayed in euros per order. But if we had an instrument in dollars, for example, that would be in dollars per order. You can also set a spread if you're trading on the Forex market here. We can also set the time period of the back test. We can set a starting date to be either the earliest date displayed in the chart or a specific date. For the ending date, it can either be the real-time date or a specific date. Pro backtest in tick-by-tick -tick mode is an option that you can set. Backtesting with tick-by-tick -tick data lets the system determine the sequence of execution if several orders are triggered by your trading system in a single candlestick. For example, if the system generates both a stop and a limit order, which can potentially be touched in the same candle as shown in the image here, the backtest will use tick-by-tick -tick data to determine which order should be executed. Look at the image shown in the magnifying glass. If we only look at the large green candle, it's impossible to know whether the limit price was touched first or the stop price was touched first. However, using tick-by-tick -tick data and the pro backtest in tick-by-tick -tick mode, we can see that the stop price was touched first. Therefore, that's the order that will be executed by the pro back test, and the limit order would not be executed in this case. Once you're finished, click pro back test my system. The detailed report is then shown, along with the equity curve and positions chart. In the detailed report, we can see an overview of the performance, statistics of closed trades, a list of orders, and a list of closed positions. It's possible to load more historical data using the left drop-down menu here. For example, here let's load 15,000 units. The new equity curve and positions chart is displayed here, as are the positions directly on the chart. We can zoom in on the chart here or use the tool here to zoom on a specific period of time. For example, this period here. And we can return to the optimal zoom by clicking here, which shows the 15,000 units and one hour data. If you've closed the detailed report, you can open it again by clicking here on the wrench key on the equity curve and in the settings of the pro back test equity curve, just click on detailed report. We can see that the results have changed because we're now testing on a different period of historical data. The start and current period are shown here. If we close the system and want to add it to our chart again, just click on this button here, indicators and trading systems, go to the backtesting and automatic trading section and then find your system for example MA system and you can pro backtest it and add it to your chart by clicking on this button to learn more click on one of the links that appears on the screen